Hi, I'm Stöck and uh, this is Bounty Thursdays. of things coming out this week i mean bug crowd recently dropped their latest like year in review kind of report and one thing that really you know stood out for me is that it's particularly a big expansion of the indian hackers in the market i think that's so cool and it just shows that india is growing strong when it comes to offensive uh, hacking and bug bounties super happy about that if you haven't read the report uh, do do check it out it's it's a good read Another real good write-up that came out this week is the one that Sam made uh, together with uh, Justin. I, I think just Sam wrote it, but uh, he did some collaboration with Justin on that report. And um, it's a really, really good read on how he made a, um, a routing path traversal on an API. Uh, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, I definitely recommend you to check it out. It's uh, it's. We've, we've seen this happening over and over again, and Sam is super talented in spotting these kind of things out. So it's definitely something worth looking into. So Jason Haddix dropped his Bug Hunters methodology number four. And uh, for those that didn't see the talk, Mm, CEOSEC has made a really good mind map that just breaks down the whole process on how to think when you're trying to enumerate and find stuff and, and just how to expand the attack surface. Expanding the attack surface is a skill in itself and it's not something that you should uh, underestimate. H1-2006, which is HackerOne and PayPal's live, virtual live hacking event, is in full effect. There's, I think it's like one or two days before the dupe window closed and after that the event really kicks off. Okay, Donut just dropped a really interesting Golang handle functions word list. It's 30 times bigger than the one available on Seclist, so definitely, definitely worth checking out. And the link is in the description, and you can also find it in the Bug Crown forum. Oh yeah, and if you like the things that I contribute to the community, you want to support the things that I do, you can always buy me noodles over at buymeacoffee.com. So if you haven't already checked out Hacksplained over at YouTube, now it's a good time to do that. There's a lot of deep diving in how you get started using Burp. There's some breakdown on how to uh, do the OWASP use shop. So if you're interested in visual, visual learning, Hacksplain is your way to go. Check out the YouTube channel right here. So this episode was really fast, short and sweet. And it's primarily due to the fact that I'm on summer vacation and I'm gonna be on summer vacation for the next upcoming four weeks. So this kind of rapid, fast paced updates is something that you're gonna expect in the near future. Um, until then, and until I see you next time, stay curious.